Hey everyone, this is Tanmi back with another Linux desktop customization video and today I will customize Fedora desktop with Niri. So the first thing that I will do is get the project file and you can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video. So let's go ahead, double click, then go inside the project file and click on the downloads links and then simply download the themes. So I'll open up the browser and then simply copy and paste these links. Then click on files and then scroll down a little bit and then simply download this one Capuchin Borderless Lite. So click on it and then from here I will download the icon pack and here I will download the zip file for the U launcher theme. Click on download, click on download. So once you have downloaded these three you can close the browser all right now let's go ahead and open a new window and then click on show hidden files and then right click on an empty space and click on new folder and then type dot icons so i will create a folder called dot icons and then right click on an empty space again and then create another new folder called dot themes and then go to the downloads directory and then extract the tar files first or the zip files so wait for it to finish extracting and I can delete the zip files now let's go inside dot icons and then simply drag and drop this icon pack inside dot icons and do the same for dot themes as well. So I will go inside Capuchin light and then simply drag and drop these three folders inside dot themes. Okay. And after I've done that, let's go inside my project file. And now I will simply run the script, which is called everything.sh. So for that, let's open a terminal. So let's go to downloads first. So type CD downloads, and then I will go over here, which is inside my project file. So type CD, then the name of the folder and now I will simply run this script okay I just need to make it executable first for that type chmod plus x and then everything.sh and then type dot slash everything.sh and press enter and this will run the script and this will take four or five minutes to finish so what this will do is it will install all the packages that we will need to make the setup happen and again guys thank you so much for the support i really appreciate this thank you so much for getting the membership this really means a lot to me thank you so much guys press y and then press enter all right, so once this is done, I can close the terminal and I can close the file explorer and then simply restart. All right, so at the login screen, I'm going to select my username and then select Niri from the right bottom corner and then type my password and then log in. All right, so we are here in Niri now and this is how it looks. So these are all the buttons, you can click on it. So here's the thing guys, the next thing that I will show you how to get the U launcher theme okay so for that you can press f3 or you can just simply click on it to open up uh, the file explorer uh, which is nemo 
and you can simply do some customizations here so i will simply hide the status bar and then the toolbar and menu bar and then press f9 on your keyboard to hide the side panel and then control plus on your keyboard to make the icons a bit larger now here go to downloads and then go to e launcher main and over here i will simply install the themes so for that you can go to your firefox browser and then over here go to the u launcher page uh, which i provided uh, the link uh, and the link i have provided inside the project file so here you can scroll down and simply look for the command that you'll need to uh, install the themes now let's go ahead and open a terminal and then simply type first of all let's go inside uh, this folder so let's go cd downloads and then cd u launcher main so type u launcher dash main and here i will just simply install the themes for that type python 3 and then this which is install.py dot py and then simply paste this command this one over here press enter and this will install all of the u launcher themes for us now i can close the terminal close the browser as well now run u launcher by the way you can press f5 uh, on your keyboard to get the u launcher running and then click on the gear icon and then from here you can select cappuccino latte blue so after that let's go to the downloads and then uh, go to my project file and then open another file explorer press ctrl h to show all the hidden files then go to dot config and then u launcher and then user themes and then search for latte press enter latte blue go here and then simply drag and drop the themes.css from my project file to over here then click on replace and now if i run u launcher you will see that it has some modification not much just a little bit to make it uh, a bit more cleaner now from u launcher you can actually uh, use chat gpt you can type ai and then search for anything but before that now go to the settings first and then over here go to extensions and here simply copy this and paste it over here default engine id and click on save and now if i type ai and then anything press enter and it will directly take me to the get gpt like that all right so the next thing that i will show you go to dot config and then go to d and then config.kdl and uh, you can actually go to preferences over here and then hide this to give it a bit more cleaner look now from here you can search for binds and inside this bind section you can find all of the keys uh, that i have assigned for these actions so you can change it to your preferences you can scroll down and see all of these other such as you can press windows key and r to change the shape of the windows like that and there are other uh, binds as well that you can look for over here this section and the next thing that i will show you search for firefox and then go to the window rule for firefox which is this one and you can type true over here so open maximized true so if you open up firefox it's gonna open up uh, in full screen 
So let's go ahead and just change uh, the theme for Firefox. You can search for Capuchin. Okay, and you can install any of this. Let's say install this one. Click on add. Click on OK. And then go to Firefox settings and then go to home and then select Firefox home. And by the way, to close that uh, window, you can press F1 to close the window. Okay. All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead and uh, install the fish shell. So for that, go to downloads and go to my project file and uh, then click on fish install. So this is a text file and open a new terminal and then over here type fish, press enter. So we have to be inside the fish shell first and then install the oh my fish. And after that, I will install Bob the fish. And then make the fish shell the default shell. And after that, I can uh, add some fish greetings to this. And then save it. And then simply let's copy and paste this line okay so now I'm going to have to simply restart so you can click on this button or you can click uh, press F6 on your keyboard to bring up the uh, restart logout and power of option so this is restart the first one so press enter all right guys so I have restarted so I can open up the terminal by pressing F2 and you're gonna see that it has this fish shell running over here so we are almost done guys so let me just quickly show you uh, a little bit of uh, just let me describe a little bit about this setup so the first one will open up you launcher okay uh, the second one will get us uh, this con key widget and uh, audio visualizer so if i play a song or a video it's going to show the visualizer and this one will open up firefox this will get the file explorer you can press ctrl h to hide the hidden files and you can press this button so this will open up a floating terminal all right and if i click on this button it's gonna show the audio settings and this one will show the the bluetooth options so clicking on the button will close it and if i click on this and it's going to show the system monitor and some stuff some informations and if i click on this wi-fi button it's going to show the Wi-Fi settings so I can go to activate a connection press enter and it's going to show the available Wi-Fi around me and uh, clicking on this date is going to show the uh, notification panel and finally the power on off button and at the right bottom corner I have this workspace switcher and it's going to highlight the current workspace with a different color and on the left bottom corner we have this taskbar and clicking on this will take me to that particular window all right guys so this is the setup i hope you liked it i hope you like the setup and if you install it on a real machine and by the way it doesn't run on virtualbox so you have to install it on a real machine uh, i mean on your pc or laptop if you have a higher refresh rate it's gonna look amazing guys i can promise you that it looks amazing and opening and closing the apps are super smooth the screen recorder may not capture it properly but when i see it in front of me uh, it's just amazing guys i really love this and by the way if you press f7 it's gonna apply a random wallpaper 
every time you press F7 and also it's gonna apply a random wallpaper every time you log in and if you go to this walls folder which is inside the home directory and over here now uh, whichever wallpaper you put inside this folder and if you press F7 it's gonna randomly pick from one of those wallpapers so you can use your own wallpapers you can let's say you can uh, put here 10 wallpapers or 20 wallpapers and it's gonna randomly apply from those wallpapers now uh, which is pretty cool guys uh, I guess so yeah guys I hope you like this customization and uh, by the way I didn't show you the audio visualizer so let me just quickly show you <clears throat> all right so let me just quickly play something to show you the visualizer all right so there you go guys and uh, this is how the visualizer looks and uh, it will also show the title of the video or song you're playing and you can actually click on it click on this uh, title and it's gonna show uh, actually stop I mean pause it pause the video video and if you click on it again and it's gonna start playing another visualizer but the actual video or audio all right guys so this is it i hope you like this customization and thank you so much for the support thank you so much for donation i really appreciate this guys and i'll come up with more uh, new customizations in the future thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video